The Shrewsbury American Legion team is hosting the Northeast Regionals this week. And while the Dawn and Post 397 want everybody to have a good time while they're here in Worcester, they don't intend to be good hosts when they're on the ball field. Their goal is this, win and move on to Shelby, North Carolina in the World Series. Post 397 taking on the state champs from Maine tonight. Maine gets on the board first. Chris Wright and Ryan Conant spin two, but Sam Economy scores one to nothing Maine. Shrewsbury starter Carson Hobbin coming back for a strikeout to end the inning and limit the damage. Top second, here comes Shrewsbury. Christian Siciliano, a little Texas leaguer, plates Mike Bonolo, and it is one to one. Base is loaded then for Conan. Sacrifice fly, driving in right. It's two to one, Shrewsbury. TJ Morgera then, a base hit in the right. Siciliano had to hold up at third. He's coming home, and it's a three to one lead for the locals. The base is still full for Matt Livingston, who drives one to the deepest part of the yard. Look at Economy making the play out there for Maine. But his momentum takes him all the way to the track. Tyler Hopping scores easily. And here comes Sean Bunton to the plate, scoring from second base on the sack fly. It's 5-1. to one. Big John West, he would deliver another run in the inning. Shrewsbury led 6-1, to one, and then the rains came. 6-1 to one is where it stands. It's postponed until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. The Holy Cross football team rode a wave of momentum into the offseason and it has provided the Crusaders with a lot of confidence. And as our Brenna Wilson found out, the challenge now is to take that confidence and that momentum, build it into a new season and try to get off to a better start. The Holy Cross football team ended the year tied for second in the Patriot League standings this coming after they finished the year on a four game win streak. Now the team says they were able to use that momentum heading into the offseason and they hope that that will be an advantage as they begin this year. I mean there's definitely momentum. We know you know in the league you know we can play with anyone. We can, we can really roll. We know we went 4-0 last year. Uh, we know if we're on our stuff we can, we can be anybody on our field. Uh, we also know last season's last season with different roster, so uh, this year's going to be a new year. Anytime you can end the season on a win, right, it sets up the offseason a little bit differently. So it's more about how we were able to handle that through the offseason. I think we were close in a lot of games, you know, and we just couldn't finish it for whatever reason. And I think right now that's what this is about, is can we begin to talk about finishing, starting a lot faster than we did, but now finish more games. You know, I thought we ended well, but we got to be able to do that a little bit earlier in the season. All the action gets underway August 31st as Holy Cross takes on Navy. In Worcester, I'm Brenna Wilson, Worcester News Tonight Sports. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Brenna. Former Holy Cross center Jahiva Floyd made his name in college basketball with defense. The Patriot League's two-time defensive player of the year is moving to Germany this week after signing a professional contract. And Floyd says it's no secret why a team in the basketball Bundesliga was interested in him. They pride in their defense, which that's why they uh, they like me as a defender. Um, they're pretty like they uh, press for, for a whole game mostly. Um, they're pretty energetic and getting up up and down the floor. So something I'll have to adjust to coming from college. But it's, it's, uh, they basically pride themselves on defense, and that's a big thing for me. And as we first reported last month, Floyd is playing for MHP Riesen Ludwigsburg. He signed a two-year deal with the German team. So good luck to Jaiva. He's a great guy and uh, works really hard on the basketball floor. He's really been working out all summer at Holy Cross to get ready for this opportunity. And he likes, as we reported a little bit earlier, he likes the ability to be there for two years and play basketball and have some, have some structure in, in that contract so that he, uh, he knows where he's going to be for the next couple seasons. Yeah, what an opportunity. What's the competition like um, kind of in those leagues? Yeah, well, he, I mean, this is the number one league in Germany. It's European basketball. The game is a world game, obviously. It's gotten a lot stronger in, in the world as we see every time there's the Olympics or even the Pan Am mm -hmm. Games and things that we've just, just seen here. But uh, it is a strong league. A lot of great German basketball players are playing in the NBA right now as well. So... Uh, Jaiva Floyd will be tested there and he'll have a chance uh, to make a name for himself and hopefully make a little bit of money for himself over there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing like kind of like a transition period where, you know, maybe if you're not ready to go to the NBA yet, but you have that opportunity to play overseas and he gets to travel. Yeah. I mean, you can't really beat that. 
Yeah, you know, he continue, he, like he talks about, he continues his learning experience from college, high school, college, and now mm -hmm. to that next level. So good luck to him. He, uh, he, he earned it. He played really well this past season at Holy Cross, and he earned it with his defense as well. Absolutely, and I'm sure we'll be seeing more of him. We should be, yes. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Andy Lacombe, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.